expensive. And so when Mr. Bloody Wilson came to our studios last month, Video View tackled him on his crude show. Wipe the dribble from your chin. Shake it loose and let it fall. And though we've had a bit to drink, it don't hardly show at all. Come and sit here by my side. I'll lay the seat back if you like. And while your mum and dad's inside, help me poke it through your tights. Every Saturday night, I used to sort of look forward to going into town to the Railway Institute barn days. What I do is not for everybody, but then again, it wasn't designed for everybody either. You know, I, I'm, uh, who shall I say, I'm uh, the cure. The, the group The Cure, I'm not a big fan of theirs, so I don't go to their concerts, and I hope that people apply the same common sense to what I do. If they don't like it, don't turn up. <laughs> like, and you still have your clobber on from the paddock, so what we used to do is just sort of shake all the shit out of our overalls and polish up our gumboots on the back of our strides, then pay your ten bob and go in. But of course, <laughs> over a period of months, I've got this really high reflective gloss on my gumboots. <laughs> Which was great, because in those days, the Sheilas used to wear about 300 petticoats, and then you get them coming through in the progressive barn there, you slide the old shiny boot under them. <laughs> hey, look at this, you've got green knickers on. <laughs> get another one coming. I use exactly the same language that uh, me and my mates would use having a beer around a barbecue or a pub. And it's also, I should point out, it's not exclusively Australian domain there. Uh, it's the same language you would hear in any English pub, at the front bar of any English pub, or uh, for that, uh, any bar at a police canteen right across the country. You know, it doesn't change. It's, it's, it's just that my accent perhaps highlights it. I don't know. And one of the she was tweaking what I was up to is that she went outside and took her strides off. And I'm pulling my routine and said, Hey, look at this, you've got witches' britches on there. Hey, look at this, you've got pink pants on there. she comes through and says, Hey, look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> She said, I know what you're up to, your mongrel, so I went outside and took my pants off. Thank Christ for that, I thought I'd rip me fucking gumbo. When it first started, uh, this is beyond the video, uh, this goes back about six and a half years ago, I was an electrician that had, I worked in a little bit of a band called the Swing and Giblets, and we used to do all sorts of shows, being from a country town, you had to do everything from a, a football club cabaret to, a, to a, a disco through to a wedding, so you did the whole lot. And part of what we did was also comparing the, uh, I, I don't know what they call them in England, stag shows, stag days for the fellas, men only, where you bring in a couple of strippers. So my job was to compare them. And uh, I ran out of rugby songs that originated here in England, as you know. I ran out of them, so I started writing my own. And that's, even now when I write a song, I write it to that, that group of people, that core group of people. And we're down to the last lag of walls. I remember being at a funeral in Kalgoorlie and we were having a few beers afterwards, you know, and uh, we were all standing around having a few beers and got a little bit worse for wear and uh, saying, oh, Len would love this. Where's... Oh, that's right, we buried him. So that's, I mean, there's humour there. There's humour there. There's humour in almost anything if you look for it. And of all the songs I've ever recorded, I've been in more shit over this one than all others put together. They came down from Megatharra in a bird out blue FJ. But farted and just shit itself in Jutland Parade. Right next door to Bondi's. When the smoke had cleared, a voice said, Hey, this place look all right. <laughs> we'll tell the government it's a sacred site. <laughs> Dead. Fucking easy, eh? Good day, Mr. Alan Bond. There you go, and bloke. Hey, I'm your brand new neighbour. Hey, mate, you got a smoke? And I think I'm gonna like it here. Living next door to Alan. When that song, Living Next Door to Alan, which is on the video, of course, when, when I had that first released, I came under all sorts of flack from the media. And uh, they were honing in on the racist and, you know, hooking on the, the racist tag. 
to that. It's not at all racist if you listen to it. Seriously, you have to think now, who's got the upper hand there? Who has the last word in this? 24 kids, 9 adults and 15 dogs, a dead roo on the roof rack and a bootload full of grog, and I'm Flash's Michael Jackson, now I'm living next door to Alan. I've been asked to be on television uh, untold number of times to sing. Uh, well, yeah, we'll get you on and we'll get you to perform. However, could you just work on the words a little bit? No, I won't, because that's, that's compromising it. And what would happen there is um, I'd, I'd go on telly and I'd smile and I'd, I'd sing all the right words and little grandmothers would be sitting in the nursing home saying, oh, isn't he lovely? I thought he was rude. He's coming to our town on Tuesday. Let's all get a little group up and go along and see him. And they come to the show and find that it's full on. So therefore, there's no compromise for television when I'm performing. Certainly, I behave myself when I'm sitting here talking to you. But uh, the video gives people an idea of what it's all about. For those of you who go for that kind of thing, Kevin will be back in October for more UK dates. I must remember to go away.